Hello students, welcome to the class on spreadsheet. The objective of this session is to discuss and understand meaning, need and uses of spreadsheets. We would further learn in brief about advantages and limitations of spreadsheets. Students, let's see first the history of the word spreadsheet. Spreadsheet means the format used to present bookkeeping ledgers with columns for categories of expenditure across the top, invoices listed down in the left margin and the amount of each payment in the cell where its row and column intersects, which were traditionally a spread across facing pages of bound ledger. In short, it is a book for keeping accounting records. So, we can say that spreadsheets were mainly developed for accounting or bookkeeping tasks but nowadays they are used for tasks where tabular listing of data is required. Data calculations are needed, formulae need to be applied, data analysis is required, etc. Need of spreadsheet First, to store or arrange data. Second, to maintain data. Third, to retrieve data as and when required. Fourth, to analyze data. Let me explain in detail. First, to store or arrange data. It is very essential to store or arrange data in a systematic way so that it can be easily accessed. File with a specific name can be opened and data can be used easily. Files can be duplicated to avoid data loss. Tabular form is one of the best methods to arrange data systematically. Second, to maintain data, to access required data, to maintain secrecy of data and to fetch required data it needs to be maintained properly. In spreadsheet, related data can be saved on different sheets so that required data can be fetched. One can hide or unhide specific rows or columns to maintain confidentiality of data. Third, to retrieve data as and when required. Accurate data can be retrieved if it is stored and maintained correctly. Accurate answers can be found in spreadsheets by using different functions, formulae, filters, etc. Fourth, to analyze data. Perfect analysis can be performed after keenly observing and examining data values and hence it is very tedious task. In spreadsheet, being able to analyze and visualize data, user can get an insight into how well the business is currently performing, highlighting areas of growth or reconsideration. Various statistical functions tests can be applied to analyze data easily. Layout of spreadsheet. In a spreadsheet, spaces that holds items of data are called cells. Each cell is referred by the x and y locations. x locations are columns which are normally represented by letters a, b, c, etc while rows are normally represented by numbers 1, 2, 3, etc. A single cell can be referred to by addressing its row and column, for example, C10. Additionally, spreadsheets have the concept of range, a group of cells normally contiguous that is touching each other. For instance, one can refer to the first 10 cell cells in the first column with the range a1 colon A10. A spreadsheet is generally designed to hold numerical data and short text strings. Spreadsheets usually provide the ability to portray data relationships graphically. Spreadsheets that is worksheets are gathered together to form a workbook. A workbook is physically represented by a file containing all data. Worksheets are normally represented by tabs that flip between pages, each one containing one of the sheets. Cells in a multi-sheet book add the sheet name to their reference. For example, sheet 1 exclamation C10 means C 10th cell of sheet 1. Users work with spreadsheets mainly through cells. A given cell can hold data by simply entering data which includes First, the string of text as hello everyone. Second, the number as 10. Third, the date 
zero five dash zero nine dash nineteen ninety. Fourth, a formula which is normally created by preceding the text with an equal sign. A formula would begin with the equal sign as equal to eight plus four, but this would normally be invisible because the display shows the result of the calculation as twelve. In formula, one can simply replace a number with cell reference. For instance, the formula equal to eight plus c eleven, where c eleven is a cell reference, would produce the result of adding the value in cell c eleven and the number five. If c eleven holds the value four, the result will be eight plus four equal to twelve. There are various spreadsheet application programs available. Generally, they have same layout, but depending upon software, there can be some differences. Earlier implementations of spreadsheet. Let's take a look at earlier implementations of spreadsheet. First, LANPAR, that is language for programming arrays at random, was the first electronic spreadsheet developed and implemented by Rain K. Peredo and Remy Landu in 1969. LANPAR was used by Bell Canada, AT&T, General Motors and the 18 operating telcos nationwide for their local and national budgeting operations. Its uniqueness was incorporating forward referencing or natural order calculation. Without forward referencing or natural order calculation, the user had to manually recalculate the spreadsheet as many times as necessary. Until the values in the cells had stopped changing, forward referencing or natural order calculation by a compiler was basis for functionality required for any spreadsheet to be practical and successful. Second, VisiCalc. VisiCalc was first electronic spreadsheet on microcomputer. Dan Brecklin and Bob Frankston's implementation of VisiCalc in 1979. VisiCalc was the first spreadsheet that combined all essential features of spreadsheet applications such as WISIWYG that is what you see that is what you get interactive user interface automatic recalculation status and formula line range copying with relative and absolute references formula building by selecting reference cells except for forward referencing or natural order recalculation third lotus 123 was leading spreadsheet when dos was the dominant operating system it was developed in november 1982 since it was written especially for ibm pcs it had good performance improvements in speed and graphics compared to visicalc nowadays commonly used spreadsheet programs are ms excel Google Sheets and many more. We will see MS Excel in detail in next session. Uses of spreadsheets. Let's understand briefly uses of spreadsheets. First, systematic storage of data. The primary purpose of spreadsheet is to store data in a structured way. Data values are entered into cells in a worksheet. These data values can be formatted using various categories of data types in spreadsheets. Second, to perform basic arithmetic and mathematical calculations to maintain monthly expenditure to calculate taxes to maintain students marks etc we need to perform basic arithmetic and mathematical calculations this can be easily performed using spreadsheets third to arrange data in sorted order to find topper of the class highest amount of salary paid to arrange students of the class according to their names etc we need to arrange data in a sorted order sorting option is provided by spreadsheet to arrange data in a specific order fourth to categorize data on the basis of certain condition to find students with their grades to locate properties in same area to find mobiles of some specific price range we need to categorize data filtering can be performed in spreadsheets to group the data fifth to statistically analyze data modern spreadsheets provide built-in functions for common financial and statistical operations such calculations as net present value or standard deviation 
can be applied to tabular data with a pre-programmed function in a formula. Sixth, what if analysis? Spreadsheets are useful for what if analysis since many cases can be rapidly investigated without manual recalculation. Seventh, conditional expressions or convergence. Spreadsheet programs also provide conditional expressions functions to convert between text and numbers and functions that operate on strings of text. Eight, to visualize data graphically. Spreadsheets provide chart option so that tabular data can be easily understood with graphical representation. Users of spreadsheets. Students, now let us see who are users of spreadsheets. First, accountants. Accountants need to keep track of all the money coming into the business and all the payments going out. They need to calculate profits and forecast how well they think the business will do during next year. To perform these tasks, they prefer to use spreadsheets. Second, teachers. Teachers can use spreadsheet to keep track of marks given, recording exam results, monthly attendance of students, to prepare a timetable of each class, schedule of activities, etc. Engineers or architects. Engineers need to perform thousands of calculations when designing bridges, buildings, etc. They need to make sure that bridges will be able to support themselves and will not collapse under the weight of traffic or force of strong winds. They need to work out how deep the foundation of a house need to be in order to support the walls and roof. For these tasks, they may use spreadsheets. Fourth, salespeople. Salespeople use spreadsheets to keep track of the items they sell, the value of items, the profit made on each item and more importantly, the commissions they have earned. They can also find which region to target for specific product, which age group people will respond to certain products, etc. Fifth, scientists. Scientists need to be able to keep track of their results from experiments. They use spreadsheets to help them to analyze what happened with the experiment and also to predict what might happen if they were to change one variable. Sixth, supermarkets. Supermarkets use spreadsheets to keep track of finances, that is, sales, losses, and money spent. They also use spreadsheet to work out queuing times and what are best number of checkouts to have open at any one time during the day. Depending upon seasons and sales details of last year, what all types of offers to declare, etc. Seventh, market researchers. Market researchers collect data from shoppers about their spending habits and their awareness of different brands. All of these data has to be collated and analyzed in order to provide the company with a detailed report of what customers think about their products. Advantages of Spreadsheets After understanding need, users and users of spreadsheet, let us focus on advantages of spreadsheets. First, easy to use. Related data can be stored in multiple worksheets which can be navigated by simple mouse clicks. With cell referencing feature, it becomes easy to maintain data for further calculations. User does not have to remember changes made in data values. Those changes can be reflected directly in cell where it is referred. Second, helps in decision making. Spreadsheets help in presenting data in organized way and to inform future planning decisions. Third, saves time. Spreadsheets save valuable time by completing essential calculations quickly. Time can be saved not only by making initial calculations faster and more accurate, but their automatic recalculations feature also make it easy to update products such as grades and budgets. Fourth, helps in representing data graphically. User can take an existing data set within a spreadsheet and present it 
as a chart with various types of graph and chart options. The resulting charts let business managers gain insight into the data by presenting it in a graphical way. Fifth, helps to carry out conditional testing filtering. Spreadsheets also use conditional formulas in which you can carry out conditional tests on data values, filtering or manipulating the values as result of these tests. Sixth, to analyze effect of potential changes. User can use a spreadsheet to calculate the potential effects of changes to his or her business model. For example, if user uses existing information together with a potential change such as sales fluctuation in retail context, one can determine the impact of this change. Limitations of spreadsheets First, inefficient in comparison with database. Spreadsheets generally do not offer the ability to structure and label data items as fully as database and usually do not offer the ability to query the database. Workbook that contains more than three sheets is indeed a file containing multiple tables that can interact with each other. It lacks the relational structure of a database. Second, susceptible to frauds. The main underlying reason behind the spreadsheet's susceptibility is inherent lack of control which make it so easy to alter formulas, values or dependencies without being detected. Third, susceptible to trivial human errors. It has extreme susceptibility to even trivial human errors. One cannot efficiently identify the errors easily. Fourth, limited scope for collaborative work. Planning, forecasting, budgeting and reporting are all collaborative activities. In addition, final documents produce a result of multiple exchanges of data ideas and files. Method of exchange of data is susceptible to duplicate data and even errorless data. Fifth, hard to consolidate. User will really have to go through a slow consolidation process. In most cases, end users would have to collect data from different files, summarize them and submit the same to their department heads through emails, portable storage media, for example, CDs or USB flash drives or by copying it to commonly shared network folder. Conclusion In this session, we have seen that we need spreadsheets mostly when we want to represent data in a tabular form, to make use of forward referencing with the help of formula, to graphically represent data, to sort or to arrange data in a specific format, to analyze data etc. Nowadays, we regularly use spreadsheet softwares. Though there are certain limitations to the use of spreadsheets, it is useful for performing various tasks. Newer versions of spreadsheet softwares may overcome these limitations so that use of spreadsheet will become more fun. Thank you for your patient listening. In the next session, we will see introduction to different spreadsheet softwares. Thank you.